Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Calculating algebraic expression. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use uh, how to use C A L C button. The C A L C button in my calculate my calculated Casio FX nine nine one MS button in on the left side the second row. This button C A L C. First of all, this button is working with both basic math and the complex number. So in mode, working with both C O M P is basic math, C M P L X is complex number. Working with both. So if you want to graph a quadratic function, you need to set the table value and enter several numbers. So the CALC uh, enabled you to perform a number of times of different value. So it make very fast. And uh, using this button, every time you need to press CALC before input the number. Let's show you how to do it. <coughs> First of all, you enter the algebra expression y use the red one alpha y equal the equal sign is also at C A L C button, but you need to press the alpha button, alpha button, then you go to equal. So alpha button, then C A L C. You got equal. And enter x square and still alpha. So we can move a little bit high and you see clear. Okay. Alpha button and x square, right? Square button plus and two uh, x. 2 times x alpha button x then minus 50 okay once you enter this number and then enter this algebra expression and next you just if you want to set the table value from negative 5 to positive 5 you want to enter negative 5 you need to first press C A L C button then you enter negative 5. If you just enter negative 5, it doesn't work because when you hit C A L C button, after enter this one, they have X question mark. They ask you what is X value? Is it negative 5? Negative 5. Hit equal sign. They give you 0, right? 0. So let me show you on the other page. We put the first. We put the negative five. You got the zero, and you got the negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three. Four, five. Okay, and then hit the C A L C button again. It give a question mark again. It's a negative four equal negative seven. Then enter negative three C A L C negative three. You got negative twelve. In your practice, you get used to. Otherwise, yeah, once you hit the negative two, you not hit C A L C, it doesn't work. C A L C, negative two. You got negative fifteen. C A L C, negative one. 
you call negative 60. And CALC 0, you call negative 15. And you have 1, you got negative 12. And CALC, you got 2, negative 7. And CALC 3, you got 0. And CALC 4, you got 9. And CALC 5, you got 20. Yeah. Just a few minutes till you finish all table value. So as I said, uh, the CALC button is working with basic ma uh, math, all the math and the complex numbers. So you can enter the algebra expression. For example, it's not only quadratic, but also cube, any polynomial, and also working with sine, cosine, or logarithm, right? And everything you can do this. Way. And uh, the next I want to show you, uh, if you want to perform uh, and another one is y equals this one y equals x over 2 minus cosine x if you want to perform this one and CALC also working the one thing you need to be careful is in this expression you say x over 2 cosine x. In cosine x, the x is angle, but in here, x is cannot be put the angle, cannot put 30 degree, degree. you need to put the radius. That's why in this one, x is the radius. x is the radius, right? So, to do so, you need first go to mode, to set up, go to mode, one, two, three, four. Is degree readings. This is readings. Hit the two button two. Then on the top, they show you this is the R, which is readings now. Okay. Then you enter this function y equals the same thing. When you enter y, you use alpha button. Use alpha button y and alpha button CALC which is equal sign equals x alpha button x divided by 2 and subtract cosine x alpha button x right you enter this one. and once you enter this one you just uh, using the number enter the number so in this case maybe you can you can use uh, you can choose pi or if it's easy you can choose for example you can choose x y you choose uh, for example x from let's say uh, negative 1 negative 0 0.5 and the 0 and 0 point positive 0 0.5 and the 1 1.5 and 2.0 and 2.5 and 3 all this number right because you already set x as readings so it works. So let's see if you use CALC button and x equal negative one, negative one. You got negative one point, negative one point zero four. And then when x equal negative zero point five, hit the CALC button again. You enter negative zero point five. They give you negative one point one three 
and when this is zero, see LC zero, it gives you negative one. Then you have CLC 0 0.5, it gave you negative 0 0.63. Then you enter when you have CLC 1, x value equal 1, you got negative 0 0.04. And CLC 1.5, you got 0 0.68. And enter 2, CLC 2, 1.42. When you hit the, pay attention, when you hit the CLC button, they have X question mark. Only this situation, then you can enter the number 2.5 equals 2.05, CLC button 3. And you got 2.49. And those, if you're using just a calculation, enter this one, it takes time, but using CLC button, it very fast and let you to do work faster and efficient. Okay? This is uh, presented by Wise Guys. Thank you.